everybody. <clears throat> I have got two boxes. And I want you to know that I have had this one since Saturday. And it was so cold that I opened it up so it could breathe because I didn't want whatever was in there to freeze. But I haven't peeked because I wanted to open it up with you. Now, I just love it when people send me stuff. I'm silly, I know. Ooh! Extra bubble. Love the bubble. Oh! Pineapple jam. You just don't know how hard it's been to wait on opening this box till I could videotape it. Apple jelly. Mmm. Oh. The piece de resistance. Fig preserves. I am absolute heaven. I have not tasted fig preserves in so long that um, it's going to be hard to use them because I'll be thinking the whole time about how close to the bottom of the jar it's getting. <laughs> I love, 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 love figs. Okay. Oop. This is from my friend Barbara. And we're soaping friends on um, the uh, soaping chat page that I have on Facebook. And if you're a new soaper, old soaper, middle of the road soaper, come be a part of my soaping page. You can chat with other soapers. If you're a new soaper, you can ask questions of the older soapers, and we love to help each other out. And if you're an older soaper, you can help the younger soapers, but also you can just share your, your website, your videos, your pictures of your soap. Um, it's a brag, share, ask questions, have fun, but not be nice to everybody website. And it's on Facebook, and the link is on my main channel. Okay, she says, thanks for all you do. <clears throat> I'm really excited about the new soap recipes. Just wanted to send a letter, a little thank you. Oh, I can't read this word. I'm trying really, really hard. You know about me and reading these words. Just wanted... Just wanted to send you a little thank you. Jellies! I think it's jellies. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the jam. Barbara Price. Oh, I wasn't supposed to say her last name. Y'all didn't hear that. Barbara from Georgia. And me and Barb are going to do a soap on the road video uh, before summer or really close to summer. Um, and I'm going to go to her house and we're going to make soap together and we're going to videotape it. Oh. Oh. I'm so in heaven. So in heaven. And I know that all of you are wondering why I have a great big bottle of vodka sitting on my table. <laughs> I know you've been thinking it. Every one of you has been thinking it. What's going on with Kimberly? She's got vodka sitting on the table. Well, I bought this Aristocat vodka, which is, <coughs> excuse me, made from 100% grain. And, um, you know, vodka don't have any extra additives, you know. There's a government warning, but there's not really any ingredients. But from what I understood, it's 40% alcohol, 80 proof. And um, how this all came about was on my Facebook page or somewhere on Facebook, somebody posted a recipe about making homemade cologne. And, and you make it with vodka. <laughs> From, with vodka. <laughs> I love to say that. <laughs> with vodka and um, glycerin and essential oils. 
there's still some tricks to it because you have to have a bottom note, a middle note, and a top note. And I'm still doing my research on it. I'll probably just play. And, um, and I'm, I've got ordered some one ounce containers. And I'm working, I, I, but before I bought the vodka, before I ordered the containers, I called the federal government, uh, the office that's in charge of uh, alcohol control, far, firearms, um, oh, a couple other different things. And I talked to them about what I wanted to do. And they sent me to the Alabama office. And then the Alabama office, after I talked to them for a while, they forwarded me to my county office, which was actually in Huntsville, not in my actual county, but the agent, that's our ABC store agent, who regulates every store that sells alcohol, who comes in, checks them, you know, arrests them, I suppose, if they're not doing right, closes them down if they're not doing right, that particular person. I talked to them on the phone. I had a wonderful chat with them. And I talked to him about what I wanted to do. And he said that as long as I put uh, for external use only and I put um, harmful if swallowed, that I could make and sell all the homemade cologne I wanted to. Now, with the perfumer's alcohol, it is not an all-natural product. I called everyone I could find on the internet and there was no such thing as an all-natural perfumer's alcohol. And you can only buy five gallons a year or you have to have a license just like you do if you were selling alcohol in a bar, I guess you might say, that kind of a license. Um, and you have to have those kind of license to buy it. But with this, the agent said I could come, to, I could go down to the ABC store and buy all the vodka I wanted, make all the homemade cologne I wanted, and sell all that I want. Now, I've still got to resolve shipping issues. There's some new regulations about selling, uh, about shipping anything that's, that has a certain amount of alcohol in it on, and putting it on a plane. So, I'm still trying to resolve that. Um, I called my post office and the post lady was somewhat knowledgeable, but she said, they've just hit us up with these new regulations. And she said, I do not know them all yet. I'm still learning. And she said, but from what I understand, if you want to ship something with alcohol in it, you're going to have to go ground shipping. And she said, <clears throat> and that means you have to pay the pound rate. And so a pound and my little one ounce bottle <laughs> is probably going to weigh about, you know, under two ounces. So I've got to resolve shipping issues. But I don't only sell online. I also sell to a lot of local vendors. Um, and if she said that there was also some provisions about if it didn't have to get on an airplane, like if I was shipping something, she thought that, you know, I've still got to, you know, do some study. But if I'm shipping like just down to Birmingham or within my state where it never touches a plane, um, there may be some rules that she can help me with to be able to ship. So I might be able to ship it to some areas. Um, and I may have to go UPS or FedEx. I don't know. I, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna examine all the different areas. But in any case, I sell at farmers markets. I have stuff on consignment at different places. So, uh, you know, so there's a lot of more you know a lot more places I can sell than just on my website. But I am gonna explore it. I'm gonna poke around and and see what I can or cannot get away with when it comes to shipping it once I've produced it. And I on purpose bought instead of like a hundred proof or a ninety proof, I bought the uh, 80 proof because it's less flammable and that was just the first thing that you know I thought of after I talked to the post office lady well you know 80 proof is less flammable than 100 proof or 90 proof so I thought well I'll buy the less and I bought the cheapest one because I'm not drinking it you know and and um, I just thought you know and uh, it's a test I'm gonna be playing and I might make you know, that I just totally don't like and have to dump out. So, I just bought the cheapest one. So, this was like $12 and something. So, I thought that wasn't too bad uh, for getting started. So, anyway, so I wanted to share that with you as to what I was up to. 
and then I have another package to open but I also wanted to share something else with you um, my father and I have been uh, my father's been making me some new molds and he's made me five new molds and I went to Lowe's and bought my hinges but I also bought this awesome tape it's called Gorilla Gorilla Tape and Gorilla Tape is very thick duct tape and extremely sticky once you stick that down you just about can't get it off and it sticks super hard to these poly mailer bags and so now this is a small one so the, the one I actually cut up is like you know this big you know and it's, I cover my face to hold it up where you could see it so I thought well I'll just get out a small one um, you can buy these on uniline.com uh, and you can also buy them on eBay and my molds are two foot long so the ones that I have just barely just the biggest one I could find just barely uh, works with my two foot long molds but these things are awesome to line your oh I'm sorry these things are just awesome to line your um, your soap molds with you cut them up and, and, and like permanently affix it with duct tape and it works awesome for not having to you know use that freezer paper I hate putting freezer paper and trying to keep the freezer paper in good condition horrible stuff and then I wanted to also do a little update on my five thieves soap which is selling really really well um, and it is like where the salt is in the swirl it's it's turned whiter now and I hope you can see that it sort of looks like like um, like the stars a, co a constellation um, the little salt swirl and the salt on the top is falling off like crazy I gotta figure out how to make it stay in a natural way but it's also sweating um, something about the salt uh, and moisture is literally running and but it, once you wipe it off it dries and it's fine and I don't know what causes that I've heard of people making salt bars all the time and I've never seen an issue with anybody talking about their soap sweating but you can see two little sweat beads right here and you can see the moisture running down it and I've just been wiping it off and it seems to be that's it you know once I wipe it off then it's just done oh god it smells so good I would have never thought that that mixture would smell like what it smells like I mean it is just awesome I mean oh god that stuff is good so anyway so I've been just wiping off the moisture but um and just that I it's done and I, and I haven't seen any it's like it initially sweats during the cure and then that's it but um I love that way it looks it's beautiful and it smells heavenly and so I'm really excited about it this is my other package now I can't make out the handwriting I think it's Garnett but I'm not sure but in any case she's from New Jersey and I didn't even know this was coming and it, it, unless somebody somewhere told me and I don't remember and I'm so good at remembering <laughs> but usually if somebody says hey I'm sending you a package well I try to keep an eye out and and I didn't do that this time because I swear I don't remember it's supposed to be coming and and maybe I'm just lost my mind. Yeah, I think that's a G. G A R G O R I T A. Maybe that's Margaret. 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 Margareta. Margaret. Maybe that's an M. It don't look like an M on here, but there's a note. And so let's see what we've got. We've got simply bubbles dot net so simple s-i-m-p-l-y-b-u-b-b-l-e-s dot net and this is original hand made with care and it says 
wintergreen cassia eucalyptus for sinuses. Awesome. Let's see. And it's yellow. Oh, and it's very nice. Let's see that again. The wintergreen does something to it. Really, all you smell is the wintergreen. And wintergreen's like that. Wintergreen will just overtake a soap. Cassia does that. But yet, the hint of the eucalyptus is there and the cassia. But it just smells like, it smells like wintergreen chewing gum. It smells awesome. And I think I need it right now. <laughs> My nose has been running for a couple of days. I do not know why. And look what a pretty top design she did. Isn't that pretty, the little top? That is so pretty. Uh, uh, she got it. She's been, I think she's been spooning it too. Let's see what, oh, this one's in plastic. Let's see what this one is. Simply, simply bubbles dot net and and let's see. Okay, uh, here's the ingredients: ginger grass, lavender, lemongrass, essential oils, olive oil, extra virgin, walnut walnut oil awesome coconut soybean oil ginger powder vitamin e glycerin oats honey lard water sodium hydroxide and turmeric powder for color it i swear that one looks natural let's get into that and isn't the packaging gorgeous I know I'm thinking about this fig jelly I'm not gonna survive going to bed it's like 12 o'clock at night but my husband he gets up at 3 o'clock and if I make a lot of noise when he's not good and sound asleep I wake him up so I had to stay up and wait for him to get good and sleepy so I could do this video but Oh gosh, my nose. I don't know what's got me. My Oh, it might have been that, but I was already having some sniffles going on. <laughs> I didn't think I'd need my knife. I love these bags. Aren't these cute? They've got little pink polka dots on it. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, and it smells so good. Now, what was that again on the fragrance? The fragrance was... Ginger grass, lavender, and lemongrass. Oh, that sinus soap has got me pouring. But, you know... It has a slightly different smell. I wonder if it's the walnut oil that makes it smell slightly different from mine. I can't see how it would, or maybe it's the ginger powder. Or was that ginger powder? Yes, ginger powder. Oh, but it smells so good. Oh, it's, I think it's the, there's not, it's not as strong in lavender as mine is. And, you know, I had to put like five tablespoons of lavender in that two batch loaf. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I should put it with its container. I'm taking that one to the shower first. I love that. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at the cute little, look at the cute little bow. It says, mild cold oh i think that's mild cold process goat's milk oatmeal and honey oh i have never tried a cold process soap because i've never found one that i could use because they've always got fragrances in it so i am really looking forward to trying this one i've always wanted to try and see what a cold process soap feels like when you take a bath with it 
So this is going to be exciting. And then simply, simply bubbles dot net. And let's see if this one here, honey unscented. Boy, you can smell the honey. I've never done that before. Just put honey. Oh, does it have oats? Let's see. Oh, that was the wrong container. Honey unscented. But it smells so good. It smells like there's just got to be something else in there. Oh, that's going to be awesome to take a bath with. I love to take a bath with new soaps. Now, oh, isn't this a cute little bar? Uh, let's see. Uh, to Kim from Margaret and oh oh it smells so good I'm going to have to read in the note to see what that one is let's see here we go uh, lemon soap ingredients let's see oh she's got rice bran oil in this one coconut and shea butter sage powder cumin powder Glycerin, water, sodium hydroxide, and lemon essential oil. Now, I'll have to give this one to my husband because my husband has the oily skin, or maybe Bridget. I'm too dry skinned for lemon essential oil. Oh, it smells so good. I swear, this one here. No, now when I smell this one, I can see that one doesn't smell, but it has this wonderful scent to it. I don't know. I just don't see how honey could do that. It just smells so good, y'all. Okay, let's read the note. Okay. All right, let's see. Hi, Kim. Sorry I took too long. Well, that may be what it was. She may have told me she was going to send these, but it was a long time ago, and I forgot. <laughs> I want honest opinion, good or bad. Your opinion matters to me, so I can better my soap making. You will find six different types of scented soaps. Oh, well, see, that one says it's unscented, but she's saying maybe it is scented, so maybe it just got the wrong label. Wintergreen, cassia, and eucalyptus, orange colored. And that was this one. And, oh, it smells so heavenly. I love it. Um, I think that maybe putting the eucalyptus a little bit stronger in it so that um, it may, you get a little bit more of a whiff of it. But, gosh, it smells so awesome just the way it is. But if there was anything I could say, it would be make the eucalyptus maybe a touch stronger and cassia and wintergreen are both um sensitizers so you got to be careful not to put too much uh, but it doesn't smell like you've put too much at all okay and little soap in my sample gift uh b-day birthday i can't read that i'm sorry also try out let's see this is this right here is scented with a oh, lang lang oh and pomerosa and a little of i think that's lemon maybe not l e the way she does her m's that may be lemon but I'm telling you, it smells awesome. And now that I know what it is, my nose is like registering the, the Lang Lang and the Palmarosa. And it's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. I love this one. And I like my soap strong. And this is like very strong. But I wouldn't mind it if it was just a touch stronger on the Lang Lang or Yang Yang or however you pronounce it. But other than that, I mean... It's awesome, and I think your average person would be extremely happy with that, um, with that scent. Uh, okay, goat's milk, oat milk, honey. This is a cold process. That was this one. I can't wait to try this one. Soap, same ingredients as yours, and add extra or different oils 
at, for my personal choice. Unscented. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to trying that one. I love the design on the... I love this design. I love the packaging. I don't think you could do much better. Uh, I mean, when it comes to cuteness, I mean, it's just super cute. So... And, and it and so it looks awesome I think that one's perfect um, uh, let's see goat's milk oat and honey this is my cold process okay <coughs> you know you can't tell the oats are in there and so I bet that's gonna be awesome though when I wash it but cold process gives a very smooth finish to soap and so I never dreamed that you wouldn't be able to tell if the oats was in there from looking at it because you can always tell when oats is in one it you know in the hot process it gives a texture so that's an awesome characteristic okay Lim lemon essential oil that was this one and I think it's perfect um, lemon and tangerine would be awesome um, if you put if you put lemon tangerine with just a tiny bit of peppermint it has it gives a candy lemon orange smell that people love and it would be perfect for your oily skin clientele but I love it just the way it is but I do think that peppermint makes fruit herbal and floral smells when you put just a little bit just a little bit it like gives it this little extra sweetness and it would really give this lemon a punch but it is awesome just like it is and I love the packaging and uh, the texture on it is beautiful so I like that uh, okay and natural honey unscented this soap was one of my very first soaps I made and I'm so, um, it says it has honey in it, and it says it's unscented, honey and unscented. But I'm telling you the truth, guys. This really does smell good. So, I, I, I mean, it's a mild scent, but it smells awesome. So, I think the recipe is good. Absolutely good. Um, you know, I mean, just good. I like that one. Um, lemongrass, gingergrass, and lavender, also similar to yours. And that's this one here. And it is my favorite. But now I'm a lavender and lemongrass girl. And I don't know. Now that I've been smelling it, I think it does have enough lavender. I think it's perfect. Uh, lavender, gingergrass, and lavender. And um, also similar to yours. And I love this one. Uh, I don't, um, I think this one said it had some color in it, and I don't put any color in mine because I sell this one for irritated skin. Lavender is, like, uh, always in your stuff for eczema and stuff of that sort, and lemongrass is a natural skin toner, and, um, uh, ginger grass is good for the skin, and so I don't put any color in my oats and honey one. And I think that this said it had ginger grass powder. Yeah. And so, and that's, you know, I bet that's how, it's no ginger powder. And that's what's giving that little extra smell. Because ginger translates, I think. And, and it doesn't look like it has any color in it. But it says it's got just a little bit of turmeric. And I don't see it, but turmeric is so great for the skin. So I love it. And it's my favorite, and it's going to be my first one in the shower. <laughs> okay. Uh, I hope you like it. I have to change the way I package my soaps. I use before the plastic little bags, but my soap will come soft. Um, I poke holes in the plastic. Um, one of those things that you use for turning the meat in your skillet, the, the forks that's just got two prongs, I bought one that was particularly thin and pointy, and I poke a hole in the bag all the way through, good, and so that makes four holes when you open it up, and that lets the soap breathe, 
and it don't go soft on you and it don't steam up as bad and if you know like if you sit it in the sun by accident um i use before okay but my soap will come soft also the smell that's a way it look more unique look simple also i make my own tags to personalize my soaps i have a bubba up bubba ups on my tag online email i did dot com need it to be dot net um i'm not sure about that for extra touch you will see small little tags too and i love them i make that too you will see too forgot to mention my website is not on i am working on it oh, okay so simply bubbles is not up yet i hope soon i have more soap but it is with fragrance oil and you can't use it sorry about that if you have a question about the ingredients in some of the soaps call me and she's gave me her phone number thank you and i think it's margaret and p.s sorry for my spelling honey my spelling is terrible mm -hmm. well i just love these little soaps and these two are my favorite yeah these two are my favorite but i like strong soaps and so not everybody does but i love strong soaps and I find that these tags are absolutely adorable, and I think you should keep that up. Uh, and um, this is my next favorite, and I think you will do really well with that one. And I can't wait to try the cold process because I've never been able to find a cold process, you know, like where I'm looking in the markets uh, that I, you know, that I could use. Um, I picked up one lady soaps and she told me that they were essential oil and I picked them up and it was really hot. It was in summertime and I was sweating and I smelled them all, but I didn't find one I liked the smell. And I sort of, after smelling them, think I got to thinking, I don't think these are essential oil. So I left, but I wiped the sweat off my face. My whole face broke out, swelled up, I couldn't see out of my eyes, so it's hard for me to find an unscented soap. So I'm, you know, that's uh, called process, so I'm so excited. And so I'm going to try that to see how it feels. I've never felt, you know, I've never, people talk about that, you know, I mean, people say my, my soap feel awesome, but, but I've never felt a cold process soap in the shower. It's just something I've never done. So I'm really, 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 really looking forward to that. So, my review is, is I love these three. This one is my, uh, this one is my favorite. The sinus one, I don't know. Yeah, sinus is, no. I think I like the, I, I sort of fell in love with the Lang Lang. So, maybe it's more the fact that I am just recently fell in love with it. And then third, the sinus soap. But I think I'd put a touch more eucalyptus in that one. And you might try, um, you know, I think sinus, I think green. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why sinus makes me think green, and Majoria makes green, but that yellow or orange is really, really pretty. And then, um, <clears throat> this is my fourth pick right here. And try poking some holes in your plastic bags so that your soap can breathe. And, um, and keep up the good work. Okay, all right. So now, um, if anybody out there is fixing to buy the woman's bar, you need to go for it real quick because they're almost all gone. And I made 22 bars, and, and they were cured out of well enough to ship today and all my pre-orders. I've got just a few bars left. I'm fixing to count and update the website. So if anybody's wanting to try some of that, you need to order now. And uh, I am going to be making more. Um, probably tomorrow, but it'll have to cure. So, um, I didn't realize that I had, with the pre-orders, I'd sold it all, nearly. So, uh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, get ahead of my game. And I've got those new molds to finish tomorrow. 
And then I'm going to be like soaping like crazy. And I got some new soaping uh, materials in that I'm looking forward to playing with. And, and everything. And so... And I've been doing some test things that I will share with you. And I, oh, and the that herbal soap I made, it is so awesome. The more it cures, the more the smells are coming out in it. And I just love it. And so I highly, uh, want, I'm going to put the recipe for that on the website. And it's expensive to make. It has a lot of essential oils in it. And a lot of them and a lot per so um, it'll probably be six dollars on my website but in any case I was trying to think if there was anything else I was supposed to tell you oh except we got to do the polka the polka I love to celebrate every time I have a hundred people added to my YouTube channel family and a week and a half ago or a week ago or whatever, I was at 1,800. I have crossed over to 1,900, and I honestly don't remember how much, how long it was. But um, a week, week and a half, two weeks ago, I was at 1,800, and now I'm at 1,901. And I looked a few minutes ago, and I think it was 1,905. And so I cannot thank you enough for joining my YouTube family. And so please subscribe. Please hit the like button and share my videos on Facebook. And please um, look at the, if you go, if you click on my face, which is right up here somewhere, um, you will, it will take you to my main channel page. And when you go to my main channel page, if it doesn't take you to the, uh, like, uploads or not feeds and it's you want to you want to see my videos I think it says videos or uploads you click on that if you don't go to that page and there is a list of links there is my my of course my website if you'd like to come and buy some of my soap there is also my uh, essential depot link and I appreciate you for using that link and buying something while you're there. It really helps me out. I get a few pennies for what you purchase, and that really helps me out. And then thank you for watching my commercials, too. <laughs> that really helps me out. But anyway, and also it has some YouTube, uh, some YouTube, um, I mean, some YouTube, some Facebook soap chatting pages and my product page. So, but you can go on there and go, go to my, not the product page, but the Facebook chat page, and we can chat with each other, and it's so much easier than YouTube, because YouTube restricts links, they restrict how many words you can put in your comment, and, uh, but on, on Facebook, I can put you a link to a video, I can sit and chat, you know, all I want to with you back and forth about, on the chat page, about how to do something in soaping, or answer your questions, and you can post your own soap that you've made, your pictures, your videos, your website links it's a brag um, you know praise ask questions answer questions have fun talking about soap page and be nice to everybody that's the only thing we don't like we, we you must be nice to everybody and be respectful uh, some of the pages uh, treat new soapers sometimes disrespectfully and um, and I just won't have it <laughs> everybody has to be nice to each other Go to one of them other pages and be rude, but not on my page. <laughs> um, I think we should treat each other the way we want to be treated, with love and kindness. And so that's what we try to do on my page. And, um, and we have a wonderful family there, wonderful soapers there, some new, some old, some in the middle, but we're all learning. And we learn together because we share with each other. All right. Well, I am so excited about my little haul, and um, I'm going to try to do a video showing me putting these in my moles so you can see how I do it. Um, I think it's been six months or more, about six months, since I put uh, these in my moles, and I've not had to change yet. They're still holding up. And um, I will be doing a video on how I do the colognes and perfumes. And so, um, I, just as soon as I get my little containers, I bought the one ounce size container because um, I was reading and it said that when you use essential oils um, and natural recipes like that, 
that sometimes the fragrance oh, will alter over time. So I thought that a one ounce bottle would be better because that way you could use it up before it changed. And I've got to read about how long it takes before the odors begin to alter slightly. And um, a lot of it has to do with that bottom note, the middle note, and the top note. And how that the top note will can begin to fade a little bit. And then the bottom notes come up and it becomes a deeper, richer scent. And I make all natural, so I'm not going to put any kind of chemical in that cologne that would stabilize the scent. So I think a small bottle will be the right uh, choice for me and my customers. Um, but we're going to have tons of fun with this. Tons of fun. And we're not going to be drinking it on the side. <laughs> Can you just imagine me drunk? <laughs> I'm already giddy enough. Uh, so, we can't be having none of that. No sipping the, the alcohol on the side. And uh, so, we're going to have a ball doing that and everything. So, thank you so much for watching. And it won't be no time until I'm going to be having some more videos coming up. And uh, we're going to have lots more fun together. Bye, everybody. Okay, everybody, I forgot to do a lather test. Ooh, look at all those bubbles. Oh, yes, and it feels so creamy. I love soaps that have oats in them. Oh, that is so awesome, everybody. Put a little bit of water in here. Oh yes, look at the big bubbles it's making. Oh, and it feels so creamy. Yep, this is perfect soap. And it leaves my skin feeling so awesome. So, I just... Uh, Wanted to add that at the end, that um, her soaps make awesome lather and feel awesome. And it smells even better wet. <laughs> Bye.